And we're still on with my special coverage of Binibining Pilipinas 2022. And now I'm here with Binibining Pilipinas Grand International 2022, Roberta Tamondong, and Binibining Pilipinas 2022 Globe, Chelsea Fernandez. Yay. Hi, guys. Kayo? Thank you for having us, Adam. Brave. We're doing okay. Naman. Yeah. We're just doing our media week for like this week and next week. Like, walang tulog. <laughs> walang tulog. Promise, Pero, walang tulog. But of course, we're not complaining. Uh -huh. And we're just Happy enjoying every naman. moment of it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but before good. anything else, pal, I would like to thank Araneta City for allowing me to interview our newly crowned Binibini Filipinas title holders. It really means so much to pageant vloggers like me to be given this opportunity talaga na hindi na natang hindi na tayo plang stream yar talagang face to face yes! na finally but guys before I was able to do this I underwent swab testing yeah. mm -hmm. to ensure that I'm safe in interview and healthy enough to interview our reigning queens of the moment <laughs> so kayo guys so happy pagod talaga no mm -hmm. so how 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 have you been? What sort of messages have you been getting from your fans since two weeks ago? Well, I've been getting a lot of sweet messages, especially mm. from my family and friends. Mm. And because of those messages, I feel so energetic mm. to compete na internationally. Oh, na parang, na. Yes, and this is my first time to wear a Philippine sash. So I'm just so excited to represent Philippines on an international stage. So madami po nagsasabi, well, aside from congratulations, ganyan, madami mga tips and advices. Mm. And even Miss Maureen Montaigne, she okay. messaged me right away after the coronation night. Mm -hmm. So she congratulated me and she told me, Oi, labas tayo, let's have a dinner together and we will definitely give you advices and tips. And sabi ko naman, yes, Miss Mao, I really need that. <laughs> Especially that it is my first time to go to Albania. It's like Europe. Oh, naman siya. Oh, so, saya. And I'm just so excited na sana mangyari yun. Back to back is real. <laughs> What about you, Roberta? <laughs> you know, it's kind of overwhelming because, you know, my Roberta babies made another group chat because <laughs> hindi na yung mga members ton. And I have been receiving tons of congratulatory yeah. messages. Like, that alone gives me a sense of confidence and boost when it comes to me joining pa lang prior to the six weeks of like training in, in Miss Grand International. And of course, my family. How can I forget my family? After the coronation night, I literally hugged my mom and dad. I say, it's a dream come true on behalf of my family. Because they have a Binibini queen that has been crowned finally. as Binibini Grand International. Yeah. And I owe my success to them. You know? Mm -hmm. That's nice. So, let's let's go back to your time during the coronation night. What was going through your heads in those last five minutes of the competition, the final announcement? You know, I wasn't really expecting me to to win this year. Because I could have done better, mm -hmm. honestly. Because during that Q and A, I could have answered in a different way if I hadn't like if I have it. Heard, heard correctly, huh? but I so don't hear it correctly. So, you didn't hear it The audio is kind of like bad. bad. What was the question? I just heard like a, a word, non-essential. 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 Uh, non uh, uh, but I... Why did repeat it? Ah. Mm -hmm. So, in that moment, I, I choose to, to answer it in a personal way. And now oh. that I know the, the Q and A, like I have another answer to give now in the future. So basically, it's uh, an essential that's lacking, that's missing. Because uh -huh. when it comes to essentials, we have food, shelter, water, and the roof over our heads. Yes, yes. And the things that I think we can improve on is people that that have less, people that doesn't have a shelter doesn't have food on their table. And I'm just so grateful that I have those yes. essentials. But we need to prioritize the minority, the marginalized community. And I think it's really important for us to focus on them because it would really be beneficial not only for ourselves, 
but for the future of our country? That is what I'm going to answer. But mm. it just so happens that I got like nervous because I didn't hear That's the understandable. question. That's understandable. But you know, in myself, I know that in that spare moment, that doesn't define a person. Yeah. A Q and A, that doesn't define a person exactly. in in her entirety. That's why I really am grateful for my like avid supporters saying that that's not Roberta, or none. So I'm really grateful for them, and I just can't wait to to complete on October 25. So the crown was really meant for you. Yeah, yeah. Whether you answered it correctly or not, mm. not that I realize about it mm. that the crown was really destiny mm. mga talaga Thank you. to win that crown. So what about you, Chelsea? Well, the last five minutes during the coronation night, I knew to myself that I am going to win a crown. I'm not yet sure in that moment what crown it is, but deep in my heart, I know that I will win. Because ang pinu problema ko na lang po nun, sir. Top 12 na lang, Q&A. Uh, may, 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 may ganun ka talagang feeling. I mean, of course, I join a competition and I will not think na hindi ko mananalo, hindi ko mananalo. Kasi pag inisip mo yun, hindi ka talaga mananalo, hindi ka uh, makakapasok. So that night, I just thought of, okay, for sure, you are part of the top 12 and the only thing that you have to worry about is the question and answer. Mm -hmm. So after the swimsuit competition and the evening gown competition and the next next one was the q and A. I knew after that that I'm going to win a crown. I don't know, I just have that feeling. Siguro confident. Ramdam ko kasi ako ah, if common denominator yung dalawa, may winning glow kayo. Ooh, okay. May, may winning glow kayo when you came out on stage okay. talaga. Super. Kaya nung kaya nagigets ko yung sinasabi mo yeah. na, okay, yeah. I can feel na I will win a crown tonight. Mm -hmm. So for you, there was nothing that you would like to change if you want if you'll be given a chance to redo anything um if I want to redo something um, definitely the question and answer round well I kind of answer the question but a lot of people were telling me it's kind of bit in uh -uh. so the my answer was straight to the point lang wala nang paligoy -ligo. so sabi nila sana may konting titik pa mm -hmm. or you have or you should have ended it strong but of course it happened na and i think everything happens for a reason and yeah i, I won the month so kinabahan ka ba nun kay the reason why you came out with a bitin answer um hindi po ako kinabahan i was just worried that time kasi super long po yung question so i got lost during nung middle na yung yung question kasi parang Ang question ko po nun, una muna, parang nag-explain muna si Sir, oh. na merong isang show, ganyan-ganyan, na pinapakita doon na yung youth daw uh -oh. and today's generation are not well aware of our history. heroes anymore or our history. Mm -hmm. So, ang natandaan ko na lang po, parang kinuha ko na lang yung clue word, kasi super haba na nung sinabi yeah. ni Sir, so parang, ha, hindi ko na alam an ano na daw yung question. Parang ganun na uh -oh. sa isip ko. So, I got the clue word, which was the how important the history is. So yun na lang po yung natandaan ko sa long question na yun. So doon na po ako na focus. Mm -hmm. So ganun talaga, no? So talagang look for the keywords. Yeah. Keywords. In order for you to wing it. Mm -hmm. Ano kasi nga, ikaw bad audio, tapos ikaw yeah. naman ang haba yeah. ng tanong sa you have to remember certain keywords. Yes. And that helps ah, a yeah. lot. Mm -hmm. Talaga, especially kung if you have to answer in a in a crowded it as you in a place as huge as Araneta mm -hmm. Coliseum. So when you finally got uh MGI I, I sorry the globe title Nalungpot ka ba? Uh, or were you elated? Oh yes it's still a title na it's still globe. Or kasi ako tingin ko talaga sayo, sorry, ah, kaya ako tinatanong, kasi parang you were my pick to win Miss International. Yeah. Eh. So when you got Globe, what did you feel? Was that was it a sense well, of relief? Yeah. Well, a lot of people naman po knew that I was really aiming for the Miss International Philippines. Sabi ko po nga po, actually, I prayed to God during nung Top 12 na announcement of the winners. I told God, sabi ko, God, if hindi nyo man po ako papanalunin ng Miss International Philippines, huwag nyo na lang po ako panalunin. Totoo Kahit po. Sina up. Yes po. Sabi Kahit ko. Opo. Oh, Kasi I was really aiming for that Miss International. Sorry. Oh, pero this is the reality po. Oh, po. But then, when <laughs> Miss Katrina, Katrina announced, oh, number 17, I was really shocked. So, I think it's kind of obvious naman po. Sa so, mga previous videos, makikita uh -oh. na, 
ganun talaga super happy yung yung reaction ko. So sabi ko, ah, God has a plan for me. Although I wasn't destined to be the Miss International Philippines, but I think God envisioned me to be the Miss Globe 2022. Yeah, and with a higher purpose, yes, back so. to back, mahirap. You not mm-hmm. not all ladies are given that opportunity, mm-hmm. diba? Yes, so, totoo po yan. Diba? Mm-hmm. So how how are you right now with your uh, planning so far? Because it's rapid now October. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just want to clarify, po. I am very, very grateful with what I have received and what I have got during the coronation night. And I'm excited to represent Philippines on international stage. Baka lang po misinterpret <laughs> ng ibang tao. Siyempre naman po, meron naman talaga tayong gusto in our hearts na yun na po, Miss International Philippines. But please, wag niyo po ako masamain. I am really happy with my crown right now. So, for the preparation naman, sir, um, I really don't have that concrete plans yet because we're actually busy pa with our media tour and um, mga interviews with different um, media personalities and even vloggers. Yeah. But last week, we had a meeting now with ProMedia, which is our management, na very, very supportive with us. So we had, um, we actually created a list na po with the designers and stylists and even makeup artists that we want to work with mm-hmm. in the upcoming days. So yung pa lang po as of now yung plan. And actually, I also talked to Sir Javina, my future Q&A mentor. Uh, so, so maybe next week, we will start, start na na our communication oh, yeah. skills training. Kaling si JV ha, to be oh, fair, ang dami niya na panalunan yes, na mga no. queens yeah, na na-train niya. Yeah, he even mentored Ate Mau po ata. Oh yeah, yes. oh, oh, last year, yeah, I remember. So I think it would also be my advantage. Yes. For sure, mm-hmm. for sure. Ikaw naman, Roberta. Oh, Same um, time, October na rin. October 25, grabe. So, grabe, <laughs> love it. Love it. lang yung pagitan namin when oh, it comes po. to the coronation night. But, my preparations are exactly the same as Chelsea. Mm-hmm. The list when it comes to the future hair and makeup artists that we want to work with, future designers, not cost designers in the future. Because Miss Grand International is a very prestigious pageant also. And um, from, from day one up until the coronation night, I wanted to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Wow. No, no room for errors or mistakes. So maybe after the media interview, I will set another meeting because last week we did a meeting for ProMedia and two days ago I had a meeting with Aces and Queens mm-hmm. and I think next week I'm gonna merge ProMedia and Aces and Queens together as in a, in a, in a one meeting to, to further know more about what's, what's going to happen because if you're going to plan for a certain pageant the girl should be in the middle, the one who's going to compete and the rest is going to be on, on the outside and who's going to support you, who's going to help you. And I think um, in, in, in those spare times, those six weeks, the girl, the, the, the candidate should be mentally prepared of what's going to happen in the future, future weeks. And I'm gonna find that way to sort of like get into the mood of what's going to happen in, in, in October. Because, you know, joining in another international pageant takes a lot of heat and pressure yes. when it comes to me. <laughs> and I'm gonna do whatever it takes, maybe collaborate with like some Mindanawan or Visayas uh, designers, maybe go more out of the box when it comes to national costume. I was holding back during the Bidibinin Filipinas snap course. And now that I really wanted to, to do this type of uh, theme in my national costume, I'm proud to say that it's gonna be one of the things that needs to be looked forward to, my national costume, mm. and my long gown. Pasabog ba? <laughs> Pasabog ba? Yes. Talaga ba? And, Kasi Samantha Pandilla last year may pa-pointed point yeah. na yung ninggaw, ninggaw, ninggaw. And, and as of now, I'm going to to uh, find uh, like a sketch, sketch for my long gown and Pralim's gown. Oh. Because I really love working with designers that want to collaborate with me also in what I, what, what I know. And that's the thing that's important when it comes to a candidate is to listen to the one who's going to compete because she knows what she wants and she knows what she knows with her body. Okay, I want my sleeve to be on the right, not on the left. That's uh-huh. very specific. Okay, I don't want a sleeve. I want a sleeveless 
because I want to highlight my arms. That's very, um, that's one of the things that we need to learn on when it comes to girls' work in international youth. To be, to be confident on their skin. Not like living in a fantasy of some of other design. yeah. the designers. I want to be uh, like on hands when it comes to my preparation. Yeah, so no? nice. Magsalita si Roberta, alam na alam niya na talaga yung yeah. gagawin niya. Considering that she's only 19, pero she acts like, wow, yeah. as if she's already a pageant veteran. Mm -hmm. She knows what to do. She has mm -hmm. already competed in international competition. Mm -hmm. So the risk that you took talaga was really immense. So, alam mo yun, kasi let's face it, ako talaga gulat ako kasi when, you know, you just won an international mm -hmm. title and you could have probably gone back to school mm -hmm. to pursue your further mm -hmm. studies, mm -hmm. but then you came back. Uh, a year after to join Bini Bini, parang what made you take that huge leap of faith or huge risk to it's join Bini Bini? It's my passion and determination talaga, Adam. Kasi I've been joining pageantry since I was 13, and that burning passion still lives inside my heart. When it comes to, to pageants like Bini Bini Pilipinas, we can't deny that Bini Bini Pilipinas is a prestigious pageant. And it has been since 58 years from now. And also, like Bini Bini is one of my dreams and also my family's dreams it has been a legacy that has been passed on from generation to generation and up until my generation I wanted to be a Bini Bini so to be given the Bini Bini Filipinas Grand International title it's one of the best feelings because if I get to 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 represent Philippines twice it would mean that the the passion and the driving force of this person who wants to aim for a first ever golden crown, if that passion and determination will be seen throughout my journey in Miss Grand, there's, there's no way that I can have that crown anymore. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to bring home that crown and yeah, to make babe. all of the Filipinos proud. She's and really imbibing yeah. it as early as mm -hmm. now, no? Talagang, mm -hmm. ako napansin ko rin yun eh, nung, nagsign, nung screening nyo pa lang, when you mm -hmm. sign up for for when you showed up during the screening, talaga yung nakita ko na talaga yung aura mo talaga sa'yo is really <laughs> Miss Grand International from <laughs> MGI. So was it really a plan na talagang to aim for the title the moment you sign up for BBB? You know, my family, my family loves Miss Grand International. Mm -hmm. And I always tell to to bloggers like you that I, I am happy for the four crowns at stake. Whatever BPCI will give to me, I will wholeheartedly put that on my chest and put that sash across my heart and the crown all over my head because they know better when it comes to girls like picking from a certain pageant, like international pageant. So to be given grand, it's one of the things that I really look forward to because I'm not gonna hold back anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because those past few months, I, I was holding back because, you know, the highest crown is international and you know, if you want to be an international queen, you have to act a certain way, walk a certain way, and even even sit in a like a princess in yeah. some kind of manner. So, being crowned as Miss Crown Philippines, I'm gonna just be myself. I'm gonna be the old Roan in Pasarela, and the new Roan when it comes to communication skills. Because Q and A, to be honest. That's what I really love right now. Mm -hmm. it gives me the sense of, like, the, that train of thought of other people. It's not, it's not nice, naman, if you hold yourself back to to a Q and A portion or segment or even trainings if you don't know the specific topic, right? Yeah. So you need someone to talk to every now and then. You don't have to limit yourself with one opinion. You need to to branch out with other people, communicate, and that's what I'm doing right now. So ready ka na? For, for, ready ka na kayo na what? Lipad ka na ngayon. Ready ka na? Please. Sa mga demands, sa rigors, ng what it will entail for you to win MGI, that, that, um, that includes, um, you know, trying to be the middle ground between the pageant fans and the pageant owner. Talagang partnerin yun ang plan mo. What I really want for us, especially the Filipino community, is to just set a positive vibe. Mm -hmm. Positive tone when it comes to supporting a candidate like me or even Miss Globe. Yeah, oh, sa Globe mm -hmm. din. Daging na issue mm -hmm. mga Filipino Kasi, pageant fans mm -hmm. na affect sa placement mm -hmm. ng mga girls natin That's because true. of how passionate mm -hmm. we are. Yeah. Naka affect talaga siya, and it, it even affects the mental health 
of the person who's competing. And as much as possible, guys, if you're watching this right yeah. now, <laughs> please, please do set a positive uh, light in social media and also be respectful and kind because I think this is the right time for us to speak up about this. And it's one of the issues that we want to, to, to say to everybody mm -hmm. that we want supporters who supports other queens also. Mm -hmm. And to mm -hmm. not have any negative uh, light being shed into the social media or even other people as well. So please bear with us. Please do understand. <laughs> what about you, Chelsea? Kasi si Miss Globe din, nag, hindi nakihiya mag-call out ka na sa time ni Leren. Okay. Eh, buti hindi rin naka-apekto rin kay Maureen na, alam mo yon pag talagang, pag may mga live streaming ng events, of course, with these mm -hmm. other contestants on the live chat, so, kino-call out kami. Tapos <laughs> yung in-affect, kino-call out kami sa social media mm -hmm. ng Miss Globe. And we believe na the reason why Leren got third place during her year was because of our behavior when Leren could have mm -hmm gone higher so mm -hmm. what are your thoughts about well, to it to be honest i wasn't really aware of that that filipino people are commenting on miss globe pageant but of course i would also take this opportunity to ask all of my fellow filipinos to be positive as well on commenting on different sites or different pageants because the only thing that we need right now is the support of you guys of the pageant fans as what we have mentioned earlier no filipinos are the best pageant fans however mm -hmm. sometimes nagiging worse than because of this um behavior and i really don't mm -hmm. want to tolerate it anymore and of course please the only thing that we need is love and support from all of you yeah, speaking from lovely herself. yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true i don't know Kung di nyo naman pinapahalata, no? Pero kayo, how are you handling the pressure right now? I know you guys are still on the, yeah. in the middle of the media mm -hmm. tour. Pero outside outside this whole thing, do you, how do you normally handle pressure now that you have a huge undertaking to do in the next mm -hmm. few months? Ooh, in my case, I do embrace it. Mm -hmm. I embrace pressure. Mm -hmm. I think pressure is kind of challenging and knowing myself, I'm up to challenges. So if I embrace it and acknowledge the pressure, then I believe that it would turn to be as my power mm -hmm. to do better and be better mm -hmm. on the competition. So mm -hmm. I think dapat yun talaga ang gawin. Kapag may pressure, mas, mas may drive ka mm -hmm. para gawin yung best mo to compete. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. Tapos, ito pang na ano ko, no? ito pang na ang naisip ko, one common denominator that you both have is that you also are under pro media. Yeah. And uh -oh. let's face it, pro yeah. media <laughs> has been so aggressive <laughs> with its campaign strategies yeah. mm -hmm. this year. Na bumulusok talaga, naging mm -hmm. aggressive sila. They were so active in soliciting our help, mm -hmm. pageant vloggers, in in boosting your candidacies in binibining Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. And for the tapos si Gwen pa na nalo ng Miss World. So for the benefit of our viewers who may not who are still not yet or who doesn't know pro media yet. Ano pinakaiba ng pro media doon sa respective camps na nagahandle din sa inyo? Ooh, so pro media is a talent management that supports uh, us queens financially and also in our journey in our said pageants. So we are being uh, prepped na from head to toe. When it comes to our hair colors, our nails, our drips, our Q and A's, and to be to be honest with you, we have different camps, which is Aces and Queens and Pagandang Flores. Chelsea is from KF, KF and I am from Aces, and Pro Media is our talent management. Oh, so, so Pro Media basically is not a camp. Mm -hmm. It's not a camp. It is a management board. Talent management that supports. So. Girls. Yeah. So, sila ang nag-recruit sa inyo to get into no, pageant um, The Kasi story tabi. behind why I am with Pro Media mm -hmm. is that I was a Miss Bikini Philippines queen. Mm -hmm. ah. So, Miss Bikini Philippines is owned by Pro Media. Mm -hmm. So, I am one of their queens. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I think they saw my potential to be a you know, national okay. title holder. or title holder. So that is also the reason why they supported me. Mm -hmm. So, naging queen na po, Miss Bikini Philippines. Same with Miss Ron. I think she's also one of the winners. So, mm -hmm. sila yung, so kasi sabi niya kasi financially. So, in mm -hmm. terms of um, 
doing photo shoots or on the financial side of oh, your okay. of your candidacy pasabog photo shoots ano pa ba um ang tawag dito um doing all these press cons mm-hmm. for the media blog sila ang nagahandle yes. pero yung kunya let's say when it comes to styling girls picking your wardrobe even the your dipstick shape mm-hmm. yung respective camps yun yung, yung delineation ba ng job nung dalaw nung mm-hmm. dalawa when it comes to our stylist, makeup artist, it really depends on the girl. Mm-hmm. It really depends on what she wants to wear or what she wants her makeup artist to be. Because it doesn't differ naman from any other camp. Na, oh, I'm here because camp ko to. Mm-hmm. Like no, we shouldn't even limit our our capabilities to even like collaborate with other people that aren't in your camp as well. May other makeup artists nga na wala ng camp eh. uh-huh. They're in the middle eh. So, kinukuha na namin siya from time to time. Minsan, ibang camp yung kukuha, minsan ako oh. yung kukuha. So, it's really, there's no in between talaga when it comes to, to, like, um, ang tawag dito, kukuha ng mga makeup artists or stylists. It really just depends on the girl. Mm-hmm. I see. Now I get it. I get it. Kasi ngayon, tal- ngayon lang talaga bumulusok into prominence yung pro media. Kasi mm-hmm. last year, di ba, they were always just in the sidelines helping mm-hmm. you girls yeah. on the side. Pero now, parang naging active talaga sila in campaigning for you girls in the pageant. And they've been on a winning streak since Gwen, ikaw, tapos mm-hmm. ngayon, si Roberta. Di ba? Tapos who knows, di ba, in the near future. Yeah. So, malaking tulong talaga yun sa inyo. And probably, does it help ba na you both are... Uh, you both have been competing in pageants before because you were also a previous Miss Earth, yeah. mm-hmm. Miss Philippines Earth title holder. So does it, for the young, for the aspiring beauty queens there, do you think talagang experience helps talaga in achieving a prestigious crown like Binibining Pilipinas? Yes, I would say yes. For um, Joining Binibining Pilipinas is kind of different from the other national pageants, but of course it also has similarity with my previous pageant. So aside from their all national pageants, ang difference lang din po kasi yung their advocacies and of mm-hmm. course the organization and the organizers itself. Mm-hmm. So yes po, nakakatulong talaga yung experiences. And in my case, I did apply all the experiences that I have in the previous pageants and I applied it when I joined Binibining Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. That's great. So looking ahead, Malapit na yung October. Yes. Yeah. Anong mga... Parang pumikit lang ito sa lo- <laughs> competition na. Yeah. May ngayon ba, off the top of your head, may naiisip na kayo mga pasabog sa paandar na gagawin nyo for your respective mm-hmm. international pageants? Of course. Alam ko, di pa kayo nagbimiting. Yeah, parang yeah. ano na yung mga nasa drawing board, yung mga nasa bubble, yeah. ano nyo, sa utak nyo ngayon? Well, to be honest, for my national costume, I still don't have mm-hmm. any plans for it. But I would like to ask help from all of you guys. If there are any ideas that you can also give me, I would definitely accept it. And with my gown, naman po, I have this specific ano na, color that I want to wear. For so Albania, and I'm excited to team up with Mr. Leo Almodel again. again. Yes, he made the gown that I wore during the Binibining Pilipinas. So I am actually happy and excited to be working with him again. Alright, so si, na, si Leo is for the evening gown and then another designer will be doing your national costume. Yes po, yes po. That's for sure. Abangan yeah. namin yan. Uh-huh. Um, I'm actually thinking to get the designer from Tacloban City as well. But right now, sabi ko, well, I am going to represent not um, not Tacloban City, but the Philippines na. So, I really have to look for designer talaga na my idea. And of course, I will also give my idea as well. Para, alam mo yun, bongga talaga and perfect. Oh. National costumes. Pero kung mawalan ka man ng oras, you can still reuse your national costume in Binibini, no? I mean, San Juanico Bridge yun. Kung talagang puso ang sustainable fashion, it's a great yeah. way for you to introduce your hometown again. Yeah, this time for the whole world to see. Yeah. Right? Pwede rin. Pwede rin. Yeah. Ako lang naman, on the tipid side, yeah. charot. <laughs> also, your, your, ang tawag dito, talent competition. Oh my God, yes! In Kaka- Miss Globe 2022, Kaka- there is a talent competition. And you know naman, guys, what will I do? <laughs> I'm going to sing and g- kind of dance a little bit. Yeah, I'm so excited for the time. I'm so excited for the time. Oh, I'm so excited for the time. So, you're the one who's going to be there. So, you're ready to go. There's a 
pasakali ka na ba na kunyari, how you will even introduce yourselves to the public when you get to Indonesia? In Indonesia, sir, they don't like loud. Oh. Oh. Oh, you told me. Tapos, so it's very different from what we have in Miss Grand International last year. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be set in Indonesia. The culture is different. The people are different. Also, the words, the language. They, we have a language barrier. Then I don't know Bahasa. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna research and also know, like ask people who knows Bahasa in the future, so that can benefit me when it comes to competing next next month, diba? So, when it comes to preparations, I really want to have a photo shoot with the three sun. Ay! Mabasbasa, para kung yan, mabasbasa ang kanila. Yeah, para mabasbasa na po. Oo, it's nasa middle ka, no? And up until now, I really want me and Ate Sambert to have a one-on-one session then. When it comes to Maandar. I really look up to her talaga. Like, I watched Miss Rand her time, and she is so amazing talaga. Her pasarela, like, super ganda. Q&A? How can I even say more? Ang ganda, ang gali. So having that advice from her, lalo na nakita ko sa social media that she's been waiting lang for my text. Sabi ko kay Ate Sam, let's just wait lang Ate Sam for the media week to be over. Kasi minsan gabi na kami natatapos. So she understands naman. Tapos sabi ko, I really want Ate Sam to teach me all of her pasapos from last three years, two years ago. Oh, pwede mo maging mentor sa ate sa amin. Pwede mo maging mentor. Diba? Collaborative effort. Oo. Pagdating talaga ng overs, ng October, sasabog talaga yung mga social media accounts nyo talaga. Lalo ka na. Kasi hindi lang Filipino ang nakatutok sa amin. You know what? Nabigla nga ako na ito yung napasok ko, Grant. Sabi niya, anak, alam mo ba yung pinasok? Grabe! Sabi ko pala ko, ito yun lang. Sa Indonesia pala. So, Grabe, sabi ko, dalawa na yung aarami kong language. And I'm not really, ano naman, it's not a burden for me to learn two languages. I learned Spanish when I was in quarantine then. Tapos, learning other two wouldn't be that bad. And also, Bahasa is closely the same to Tagalog. Kausapin mo si Shane, kasi she also competed in Bali last oh. June. And si Megan, kasi she competed si in Bali sa Miss World. Maybe ASUS could have had, help you oh. get in touch si with her. Kasi ano may mga nag-compete pa sa, mga, sa Indonesia. Si Shane, si Megan, who else? Alam mo yeah. ba, it's, uh, it's very... Ewan ko kung time, kasi may Filipino na naman mag-compete in Indonesia. Like, kay after, after kay at Shane, uh -huh. ako naman, first Miss Global. Ngayon, baka. Pwede! Miss, we got our first Miss World last 2013 in Bali. Bali, di ba? Tapos si Shane. Yeah, recently sa Miss Glow. Di ba? Yung mga senyales talaga. May sign. Tapos gusto ko daw ni pageant owner. Kung totoo ang cheese, miss. Mahala. Na first name basis na nga daw sila eh. Sa ano, di ba? Roberta. Roberta, she's so beautiful. Di ba? Yeah. I'm just really excited to go to Indonesia next next month. So we're wrapping up this interview. We're down to my last few questions. So from a scale of 1 to 10, how prepared are you to win your respective international pageants? Well, as of the moment, I would give myself a 9 pa lang because nine. we didn't start yet. But hopefully this week or after our media interview, I'm going to focus na po for my trainings mm -hmm. and even pasabog. I really want to bring that pasabog effect eh, from the Philippines to Albania. Mm -hmm. And this time, I want also to input all of my um, ideas when it comes to my gown and national costume. So I hope that you will support me to doing that. And I'm just so excited to represent the Philippines. With public voting ba? Sa, sa, no, not sa sure. Sige, let's, sure. Let's, mm -hmm. let's research more about it. Yes. Magkabang tayo ng updates. What about you, uh, Roberta? Um, <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> From a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you that you will win the first ever Golden Crown of Art? Uh, I would like to say 10, but there's still things that is lacking. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rate myself, honestly, 8.5. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because... Fair enough. Um... We're just in a like two week after after the coronation night, so six weeks as you said when it comes to preparation. Yes. Yeah. So those six weeks minus two when it comes to the media training, a media media rounds. Yeah. 
So the four mm. weeks, we're going to do our very best to train for pasarela, Q and A, personality, mm-hmm. more pasarela, mm-hmm. ba? Because two pasarelas, eh, prelims, prelims and coronation night and national costume. So oh we need to prepare and focus. Kaya, as, as I said a while ago, there's no room for errors and mistakes mm-hmm. that four weeks. What more kaya yung four weeks na yun? So yung four weeks, and I and I also think that during bini bini time, we prepared for three months. So that's a like training ground for us in an international competition. For staying up late, early call times, be there on time, always respect the org, be I uh, know, be always hey, always respect your sisters, be friendly with them. There's things that you can learn from Bini Bini Filipinas that you can instill in an international pageant. And I'm really happy that Bini Bini Filipinas has teached us in that way because you know, Bini Bini Sisterhood, we, we need that in an international stage. And I'm really happy that we did. And ngayon, we're, uh, no, we're very close than ever. Mm. Oh, close naman pa. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, last question. So speaking of Bini Bini Pilipinas, what's the best thing about being a Bini Bini Pilipinas title holder now that you both have the crowns on top of your heads now? You know, Bini, being a Bini Bini Pilipinas title holder it means that you can influence other people, larger people to be exact. Because given this title, if, even without the crown or with the crown, I can I can reach to certain amount of people when it comes to what I what I'm passionate about, and that's the thing that I really am like looking forward to. Because nung bata palang ako, passionate ako sa 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 toksiko. And my book says environmental awareness. And how can I reach that if I have like a handful of people like listening to me? So I'm just so grateful for Bini Bini that me, given the chance to have a crown, I can reach out to a wider audience, even internationally, about my platform. And during during my our coronation night, we have a speech. I did a speech about environmental awareness and as a known a known IG verified green green space PH reposted my wow. my speech oh. when it comes to climate crisis, and a lot of people were saying, "Oh, I agree with you because climate crisis is definitely relevant and happening and timely." And given that voice, I have this power to to inform other people as well, and that's one of the things that I love being a Bilagini is that it's not all good and glam. It's not all like doing your makeup, going on interviews, and just posting that, okay, I have an advocacy. You're really doing your advocacy. You're making a change every single day. And that's what I'm happy about in Bini Bini. Yeah, I agree. And if you really want to see change in the society, it should start with you. It should start within. There you go, guys. Maraming, maraming salamat. That ends it. I wish I had more time to really yeah. chit-chat with you. But of course, off the record na yun, babalato ko na lang yun sa, sa mga sa sarili nyo. Bulagain nyo na lang kami oh. on your respective international competitions very, very soon. Support, support all the way. Yeah. Oh, hindi na yun. Lalo ka na. Diyos ko, Lord. Madaling araw ang postings na namin. Walang tulugan na naman. But... We're very happy. It's going to be a happy pagod. We're happy, happy to do it pagod. for all you Bini Binis yeah. representing you. us in the international stage. Thank you good so luck. Thank you good for luck. interviewing yeah. us today. Yeah. Good luck, had so Bini much Bini. fun. Superta and Chelsea, and send my regards to Pro Media, to yes. Sir Paul. Wow, he really did a great job in training you and really extort, or promoting you mm-hmm. and training you, molding you, mentoring you guys to be the best Bini Bini ever for this batch. Mm-hmm. Maraming salamat Yay. ulit and good Thank luck! You. See you on the send-off. Send-off na kaagad. Oo, oh, oh, totoo. Oh.